Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is Regions Physics Chapter 7, Work Power and Energy Video 6. Today's topic is total mechanical energy, internal energy, and total energy. The objectives are node definitions of total mechanical energy, internal energy, and total energy. Understand energy is conserved. Energy can only change from one form to another. It can never be destroyed. Be able to determine how energy is transformed from one to another. Total mechanical energy. So mechanical energy is the energy that is possessed by an object due to its motion or due to its position. Mechanical energy can be either kinetic, that's the energy of motion, or potential, that's the energy of position, or both. The total mechanical energy is the sum of a potential and a kinetic. So TME, total mechanical energy, equals to potential PE plus KE. This PE can be the sum of two, gravitational and uh, elastic. Mechanical, mechanical energy has the ability to do work. Any object that possesses mechanical energy, whether it is in the form of potential or kinetic, it can do work. Let's take a look at this example. This is wrecking ball is um, doing work on the building. How can it do work? First, you'll have to lift this, do work, so the ball will possess potential energy at this point. When a ball comes down, that potential energy changes into kinetic energy. So both potential and kinetic are mechanical energy. Only when the ball has mechanical energy, it can do work. Now it can exert a force on the building and cause a displacement on that part of the building. Otherwise, the ball is not going to be able to do work if it doesn't have mechanical energy. Let's take a look at this example. Determine the total mechanical energy of the object at positions A, B, C, and D. Total mechanical energy is defined as the sum of kinetic and potential. So at all points, you simply add everything together. So you can pause the video, try to do it on yourself. Then you can compare if your answer is correct. So here are the answers. Another example, calculate total mechanical energy of 5.2 kilogram object moving at 2.4 meters per second and position the 5.8 meters above the ground. So total mechanical energy is potential plus kinetic. Potential is mgh, so h we usually define ground to be zero, so delta H is just the 5.8. Then this is a potential, gravitational potential, mg delta H plus kinetic, one half mv squared. And your answer should be 311 joules. Next concept is internal energy. Internal energy is related to an object's temperature or heat. So internal energy is uh, uh, sim use the symbol, we use symbol Q to represent internal energy. Where is internal energy coming from? Internal energy is due to when um, work has to be done to overcome friction. So resistance force such as friction, air resistance, or any other stopping force will produce internal energy, such as a, white, a car is stopped, if it's driving, then you have to put a, on the brake to stop it. In that case, that kinetic energy, when a car is in motion, is converted into internal energy. So the car becomes hot. When the resistance force is zero, however, the internal energy does not change. So internal energy equals to the negative of work done by resistance force. Internal energy is always positive. So the work done by resistance force is always negative because your uh, friction force and displacement are always in 100 degrees between each other. So cosine 180 is negative. So you have a negative negative, that's why you always have a positive Q. Or you can use the magnitude of resistance times the distance to find internal energy. Energy in a system. In a, energy in a system uh, can be mechanical plus non-mechanical. Non-mechanical is internal. Mechanical can be potential and kinetic. Now, there are two types of potential, gravitational potential and elastic potential. So the total energy in the system is simply you add everything together, potential plus kinetic plus internal. 
Now this potential can be gravitational plus elastic potential. The law of conservation of energy says a total amount of energy in a closed system must remain constant. That means the energy can never be created or destroyed. So in, in a formula, it says E total equals to P plus K plus Q has to be constant. This is called a closed system. That means there is no external force acting on the system. Let's do a couple of examples. Which energy transformation occurs in an operating electric motor? So in electric motor, obviously you use electricity. And motor means to make something move. That's mechanical. Motion is mechanical. So the answer is one. Electrical to mechanical. Take a look at the second one. When a teacher shines a light on a photocell attached to a fan, the blade of the fan turns. The brighter the light shone on the photocell, the faster the blade turns. Which energy conversion is illustrated by this demonstration? Well, it's, we know it all starts from light. Because it turns, it has a mechanical. So the question is, is it thermal or is it electrical? Now, to make something turn, you can make something hot. When something is hot, it doesn't mean it will make it move. Only electrical can make it move. That's a part. We can change electrical to mechanical, like electrical motor. So the answer is number three. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.